Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today for another quiz. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and in fact, I'm not alone today. Here, I'm joined by the legendary Poketine 90. <laughs> Hello. Uh, today will be, uh, we didn't really decide, so uh, what I thought would be a cool quiz. Take this Dragon Ball Z quiz and reveal if you're a hero or a villain. I think we both know the answers to both of us for this quiz. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I think I think a good way to j is just open this in two tabs and do them at the same time. What do you think? Or are we just going to go the same question? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Reveal if you're a hero or a villain. That's, that's a lot of text. You're just a relentless maniac. Alright. Let's okay. <laughs> take this quiz. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Wait a minute. It's your birthday, and you're at a dinner party. Two of the people have invited to have a bad falling out weeks before. One of them is none of your concern. Things get awkward for a moment. Both are there. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> I do nothing. I, can... I do nothing either, so let's just uh, do that. Okay. Who's lying? You reason for those wondering, that looks like it's rolling. <laughs> But continue. <laughs> Who's lying? You recently joined an improv group and seem to be comfortable on stage despite new and acting. One day you and your troupe are performing live and your fellow improv mates freezes. What do you do? Say the most inappropriate thing. Lose your patience, dominate, or freeze also. I dominate the stage. Okay. Uh, I will probably freeze also. I don't know. Born yesterday. You see a homeless person, they ask you for some change to eat, but you can smell alcohol. You just walked out of the bank. They seem like they genuinely need help. What do you do? No, I, I live in a big city. They never genuinely need help. <laughs> I rudely dismiss them. Okay. That's not a real thing. Okay. Uh, probably wouldn't be rudely, but I would probably dismiss them, so... There we go. Learning the ropes. You recently started a new job on a friend recommendation. You're a fast learner and get the gist of the job in days. Shift. That's how you spell gist? <laughs> <laughs> gist. gist. Opens up That's and funny. your friend applies. Then your manager asked if you consider it. What do you do? So to be like the boss. Mm hmm And your friend applies for it. Your manager asks if you consider it. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, if the manager approached me, I'm probably better at it, so I think it's Yeah. Decision. Okay. <clears throat> your time together. You work as a community college professor while loving the subject. The students aren't very pleasant. From texting, skipping class, doing terrible, they clearly don't care. You are designing their final exam. How do you do it? Death ball and blow up the whole thing. <laughs> uh, I'd say based off all of the lessons. Okay. I, I mean, I would create a fair final. You cry you a river. Is this Mean Girls? No. Oh. <laughs> You have a friend who has an on and off relationship with their partner, not partner. <laughs> not partner. <laughs> you heard all about their dramas and makeups, and have you seen their friend cry again? Recently, the situation has gotten to the point of abuse. What do you do? Death Bob, let it play that. <laughs> Worth it. Um, though I love you, I have no time for their <laughs> foolishness. No, I would intervene and be very direct with my friend. Okay. Death Ball will be coming to the planet soon. Okay, I, uh, well, this is definitely me, never been my thing, so, okay. Paying forward, you get stuck on the desert highway and try to flag down a passerby. Someone stops and asks you if they can call a towing service for you. They ask if you have money to pay them for the favor. What, what do you do? <laughs> you suddenly have a brand new car. <laughs> They uh, um, I, I don't like any of these answers. <laughs> I, I mean, no people don't write checks anymore. No, so that's not an answer. People don't carry cash, so what do you pay them? No, uh, the if I have to pick one, like I get, they soon regret even asking. Yeah, I would regret even asking. Yeah, because it's gonna get awkward soon. Be like, hey, uh, I don't, can't pay you right now. Two worlds, one family. You recently met your half-sibling. They're nice and interesting, but everything's been casual so far, meeting up at diners and for lunch and coffee. One day you invite them over to your family and they clash. How do you respond? I jokes. 
Okay. <clears throat> I would keep meeting uh, separate. Sleep. <coughs> Sleepover. Your roommate has a habit of throwing weekend parties. While the parties don't bother you, the company they have isn't always the most pleasant, considering that some are complete strangers. Do you make mention of this to your roommate? Of course. Um, only after they start eating. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would probably... Probably this one. It might be the snacks, but I uh, will go with this one. <laughs> Brotherhood of the Traveling Phones. You and your friend are on the same phone plan. They decide to surprise you with a phone upgrade for your birthday. But they have to return your old phone to avoid a service charge. Only thing is you're, you broke it hours before. How do you tell your friend? You admit you broke it in a fit of rage. <laughs> no, rage would not be directed towards my phone. I would just say, oh, I want a new phone. I will pay the service charge. Yeah, seems like pretty reasonable. How deep is everything? You have a friend you consider dating. You you along great. You, you both love oldies like the Beegees, the Beatles, the joy American literature. You have a strong connection, except you're a big romantic. They don't even say I love you to their mother. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, do you yes. yes. <laughs> I, I don't understand what the yes is. <laughs> I dismissed the idea. Okay. Uh, I, I think I'll go with that one. Action speak louder. How many questions is this? <laughs> oh, the tale of a lonely heart. You're a big romantic, but also a big loner. That's me. Well, you avoid bars, parties, dating apps, speed dating clubs. Also me. One day, someone approaches you randomly at the super... Okay, this is getting a little too real. And starts a conversation and gives you their number. What do you do? Uh, Text them when you feel like it. Okay. It's not three days later, but not immediately. Right. Uh, do... Yeah, when I feel like it. Pick your poison. You were recently diagnosed with acid reflux after years of massive caffeine consumption and stress. You have to cut it back or else it'll get worse. You have to pick one caffeinated drink and ditch the rest. What do you pick? Coffee. Mine is good old soda. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. You have to create a to-do list for you and your roommate simply because the place is a dump. You do your dishes, but with work and whatnot, everything seems to go to the sidelines. While creating it, what duties do you assign yourself? Well... I would assume each of us have our own room. So right. I'm, why would I sign my room? No, that's always mine. So, mm -hmm. um, the kitchen and the living room. Okay. Someone else can clean that. Yeah, that's how I would feel too. Kitchen. Oh, they both got a living room. So either kitchen or the bathroom. I'll, I'll take the bathroom then. <clears throat> Conflict of interest. Fight them. You're in search of the Dragon Balls and come across a small village. Just as you're talking to its leader, a group of warriors arrives. Their power levels are extremely high and you share a common goal, the Dragon Balls. What do you do? Um, oh, I'm definitely not a toying with them thing. So okay. I'd just quickly defeat them all. Okay. I would, uh... What are the options? Fight them or fight the strongest? I would fight them. Okay. Time well spent. You're traveling from your home planet to visit some friends in outer space. It'll take you two weeks to get through your spaceship. You have plenty of food and amenities on board. How do you spend the time? These are like all the same... <laughs> Three of them are training. <laughs> training, eating. <laughs> For me, it's just meditating. Okay. Training, eating, but mostly training. Training, studying and eating. Sleeping and eating. Uh, mostly training. Okay. The law of the land... That is, this is a clean picture. <laughs> You're searching through the desert for the Dragon Balls. Suddenly, you see three armed bandits pushing around a native carrying a bag with something round inside. It's one of the Dragon Balls. As the bandits are getting ready to strike them down, what do you do? Defend your native... Not your native, your... your oh, the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I don't think I need to do it with all of them, but yeah, the bandits are going after the Dragon Balls too, so... Defeat the bandits, take the Dragon Ball. Okay. I would defend the native. Ask them to join you. That'd be fun. Like, no, it's my Dragon Ball. <laughs> the Milky Way Road. An evildoer wishes you to wishes you to a distant part of the galaxy so they can take over your home planet. That's huh. 
wishes you away. You are literally light years away from your home, but since the dragon can't destroy anyone, the planet you are sent to sustains life. Don't think it would work that way, but because that's kind of like a technicality. But so they're saying that the dragon can't teleport you into the middle of a asteroid. Yeah, because the dragon can't like kill anyone. Pa I don't know. You meet okay. you meet its people. What do you do? Ask if they ever. I, well, as it may have started in the video <laughs> while you're reading it, it's like okay, I'm back up. <laughs> um, don't ask if they know about the Dragon Balls. We don't want that knowledge out there. No. Um, why would I become their ruler if I need to go back to my planet? Right. So is it using their technology to get home or just teleport home? <laughs> um, teleporting would be faster, so I would do that. Facts, facts. Um, see if they can help me get home. Cartoony you. This is a flames picture. What? No, no, wait, no. The seven star Dragon Ball, those stars are gone. You're all right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Let's say you could be an animated character in a cartoon or anime. Well, I'm an animated character IRL, so you get to choose whether you're the villain or the hero. And more importantly, you get to choose what you look like. Most what? Fact, yeah. What what design do you pick for your character? Wild hair, tall, muscular. You're the villain and you look it. Clean cut, spiky hair, tall, muscular. So either spiky hair or wild hair. I, see, I am one of the other two. <laughs> okay. I don't, oh, I don't know. Clean cut. Okay. Yeah. My hair is... I might still be the villain, but... <laughs> yeah, my, my hair is pretty wild, so... Uh, it's not spiky, so we'll go with wild. Yeah, uh, okay. You better shape up. You, have you, you've had a peaceful couple of years. You got married, have a stable career, and have no pressure, pressing reason to train. Your group of buddies suddenly decides they're joining a martial arts tournament. Now we're talking. It's tradition you join. What's the first step you take towards regaining your optimal fighting form? You never stop training. Yeah, I mean, if that's if that's my life, I probably didn't stop training. Yeah. Okay. The game, li the game life. <laughs> You're given a gift card for your birthday video game shop you're excited since you love video games but can't afford to buy one all the time you have a good amount to spend so what game do you buy for me it'd probably of those <laughs> i feel like the thing closest to my jam would be assassin's creed okay i mean all right well, yeah we all i i already have this game but i'd buy it again because it's pretty flames play nice there's a co-worker of yours that hates you for absolutely no reason. They constantly make you look like a moron in the office and have even accused you of cheating on the time clock. One day they deliver a secret of yours and threaten to tell everyone. What do you do? They regret it immediately. <laughs> You're done caring. They're never seen again. <laughs> yeah, they regret this decision immediately. Uh, okay. They may be seen again, but... Uh, I would probably just be done caring. Yeah. Cybernetic confinement. Nice World of Warcraft. Oh. <laughs> I think. World World of Warcraft. Let's say that computer games were your number on addiction. <laughs> when number on? <laughs> when you're not at work, you're at home glued to your computer. You spend an entire w weekends locked in your room playing computer games while your roommate wonders if you're still breathing. Which is your favorite? I don't even know what that last <laughs> thing is. I think they misspelled both of them on the left, right? Aren't those uh, both one Yeah, word? one word, yeah. Uh, I, I feel like Minecraft would probably be mine. Yeah, mine too. None of those are mine. Yeah. But again, I don't even know what that last thing is. That's like a precursor to Fortnite. I, I, it's... I, I hardly know what Fortnite is. <laughs> yeah. I, I played it one time. That was oh, <laughs> pretty <good> funny. <laughs> you ha you're an outdoorsy person. From hiking, parks, mountains, forests, safaris, even just your backyard. It's all about planetary appreciation and breathing the freshest air. If you could pick one eco-friendly place to live, what would it be? Me, San Francisco. Okay. Uh, I didn't even... New Zealand, South Africa... New, like New, New, New Zealand. Zealand. <laughs> nice Lord of the Rings. Lights, camera... You enter a random contest while shopping at the supermarket and win. The grand prize is appearing in a small role on a popular TV show. To your good fortune, it also happens to be your favorite TV show. What is it? Oh man, for me, it'd be Game of Thrones. Yeah. Of those. yeah. Um, I don't really. I, I get to kill Cersei. <laughs> I don't 
don't really like uh, TV shows or any of these, we'll go with Black Mirror, because, uh, just because. <laughs> no, I don't even know what I, It's like... Okay, you have some idea. Yeah, I have some idea. Yeah. 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 Do you, do you know what it is? Okay. Behind the enemy lines. Is this an android or... <laughs> You're working for a scientist who has never rubbed you the right way, but you still go along with it to gain scientific knowledge. Turns out they created a destructive humanoid who is programmed to rule the universe. What do you do? What do you do? Well, I am definitely not Vegeta who will release and battle it. <laughs> so I will just blow it up first. Okay. Destroy it before activation. Um... Well, I don't lack the... I don't have the skills to reprogram it. Um... I'd, yeah, destroy it, because I can't, I wouldn't be able to use it. Wouldn't try to battle it, so, over the edge, nice football. You and your friends have won against a rival football team. As you congratulate each other, a player from the opposing team comes and punches one of your team members in the face. <laughs> you never play football? No, they never play football game again. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, no, they, they do not just get punched, they get tackled through the draft. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was that actually a thing? Yeah. What, what was that? Naruto. <laughs> yeah, yes, early Naruto. Yeah. <laughs> Look over here, I am going to punch you. <laughs> uh, like, that sounds like it has to be yeah. from an abridged series. It's so on the nose. <laughs> okay, so what's this one? You're really, really good at engineering and cyberspace mechanics. Nonetheless, you just embrace it as a side hobby as you have a steady career. A CEO friend asks if you create a marketable app for their company. What do you do? Or what do you create? I mean, gaming app would be... Yeah. You'd make gaming? Yeah. I might try sock med. <laughs> Creating... Hey, speaking of the art show... You live in the DVZ universe, okay. During peaceful times, you take him to travel the world in search of adventure. Maybe a Dragon Ball or two. What does one or two do for you? Anyway. <laughs> During your travels, you meet someone from another anime. What anime universe do you... Oh, this... This is... This is a little heavy. What? <laughs> um, they spelled the last one wrong again. <laughs> uh, oh, man. We, we know I have an affinity for the left two. Yeah. But you, you one of my favorites. You, you have a family for this, too? Well, remember, I've been asking. Oh, facts, facts. Uh, but you use my, one of my favorites yeah. all the time. Uh, I mean, Dr. Slump is already in Dragon Ball, so, like, that's a bit of a cop-out. I feel like you, you would be. M yep. Mine. mine, too, definitely. Do you get to pick who you get to meet? Or? Yeah. Alright. Who, who? Yeah, okay. Okay. Probably Kuwabar for me. Gop. He's basically. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> is. Yeah. Got more milk? <laughs> and pictures of lots of non-milk things. You're a big, big, big dairy consumer in all its forms. <laughs> From cheese, <laughs> cheesecakes, lates, cre ice cream, fro-yo. If there's dairy in it, you're eating it. Sometimes a good old cup of milk will satisfy your craving. What's your favorite dairy product? What's fine cheese? <laughs> just fancy cheese. Oh. Um, I would... I'd probably just say a cup of milk. I still do that. Um, I'd I'd go cheese then. Big cheese connoisseur. Boo hoo. <laughs> Not to be Not confused with boo coo. <laughs> you <laughs> You just bought a new house. You love it. It's big. It's vintage, and you can yell inside it all you want. Your family starts seeing weird apparitions and noises. The place is haunted. What do you do? I thought it's all by myself, but my family <laughs> Apparently. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, you don't care, research it, maybe they're friendly, move out. I don't care. I mean, I wouldn't care either if, if they're not, like, ominous, you know? So they're, they're only bothering my family yeah. visitor, not me, so. <laughs> Citizen, hey, there's A18. Let's say you managed to reprogram that humanoid from a few questions ago. <laughs> after. Yeah, they just retconned our <laughs> After escape, you take it home. After a few days, you realize it's one of the good guys. What's your plan of action for it? Work, school, buy it decent clothing or training. Training? Yep. An eye for an eye. Ha ha. What, what kind of... <laughs> Let's say... 
Let's say one of your parents is going through a midlife crisis and are ready to give up on life, fairy godparent appears and offers you one wish, but you have to relinquish your super abilities in return. What would you use the wish on your parents? Yes, no, haha, ha, you never liked that parent much. I mean, if I have superpowers, like, why am I not able to intervene? Yeah. So I feel like I don't need to use the wish? Yeah. Yeah, you, okay, no, you can inter- Not, not ha, 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 ha. Yeah, <laughs> you can intervene other ways. Don't gotta relinquish your powers. Intruder alert, you're on the ocean cruise liner and you realize there's a villain on board of course they're after a drunk the ocean cruise liner, so of course there's a <laughs> oh you're the villain oh dear you know you're going to have to fight them but don't want anyone on board to get hurt what do you do battle them now battle above the ocean teleport sail till you get ashore oh stall till you get ashore uh, battling above the ocean would be pretty rad yep and then in the ocean when, when they get knocked into the ocean. Attachment issue. Hey, there's the Lord of the Rings. You have a good luck charm that was passed down by a very special person. You carry it with you everywhere, from school, work, social gatherings, and even keep it next to your bedside at night. What is it? M- mine's a dragon, well. <laughs> you're carrying that with you, too. Yep. Work, school, social, ga- social gatherings. Yep. Okay. Um... A bracelet, I guess. I wear, like, a watch. I like, a bracelet. Oh, okay. That'd be comfortable. The seven-year switch. You've considered switching careers recently. It's not that you don't like your current one. You like your co-workers and the pay is great. The career p- path just doesn't fulfill you anymore. After saving up, which career do you switch to? Nice and show business. I don't know. For me, it's one of the right two. Um, show business. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I don't want to... Mine would probably be teaching. Yeah, I don't want to deal with kids, so I'm not teaching. <laughs> wow, that, look at this. <laughs> you are known for your exuberant personality. Whether at work, party, bar, restaurant, library, everyone knows that you're present and you're definitely heard. A friend has assigned you a spirit animal for this reason. What is it? So a friend gives us this spirit animal. So I would give you... <laughs> I would give you the tiger. Okay. Okay. Now, what then, what would you give me? I think because of the wild hair line. Okay. <laughs> Facts. <sighs> Ready, set, go. Hey, American Ninja Warrior. Your partner has been insisting you take a vacation, except you're both pretty broke. One day, a brilliant idea arrives. Put your physical stamina to good use and compete in an obstacle course TV show. Which of the following... <laughs> that sounds de- like a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe out. Candy Crush is a TV show? <laughs> I'm an Okay. I've uh, applied for this, but we, we don't talk about that. Check, checked off. You're dating someone you really like, but soon realize they have no dining etiquette. From whistling at servers, returning meals, poor tipping, a meal out with them is a long way to check drop off. What do you do? <laughs> drop off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I would just tell them, like, stop being a jerk, but that's <laughs> not an answer, so I guess end it. Okay. Um... I would uh, learn to cook. <laughs> Strictly business. You're a manager at your job and good friends with a coworker. You seem fine enough at their job role with maybe a few slips here and there. Your supervisor tells you to fire them. What do you do? I mean, again, none of these things are what I would actually do. Because if I if I'm their if I'm their manager and I don't think they do a pretty good job, just a couple of mistakes, then I'm definitely not asking another manager to do it. I'm, not just, oh, do it because they can get unemployment. Uh, I guess find the most professional way, which would be to actually like research it and see, oh, yeah, you do deserve to be. But that could also good. Be, nope, that's professionals looking into it and saying, no, they aren't getting fired. Good, good point. Yeah, me too. Brave new you. Where is this? New York? Okay. You just moved to a big... Hey, you, you don't know a single person there and you grew up in a small town. Your this, name is Tyler. This is all new to you, but you love it so far. How do you go about making new friends? A meditation class? Or, That's the opposite <laughs> of making friends. <laughs> go be quiet by you're, yourself. You're a loner? And a reading club also, no. Yeah. Uh, a sports club. Okay. Uh, I mean, I actually am a loner, so I'll just do that. One with yourself. On the contrary to the previous question, you recently moved to the wilderness. You're going to stay there for a year, so you might as well get cozy. While you have the essentials to live comfortably, you still need to entertain yourself somehow. How do you spend your days? 
I mean, me eating an explorer. Okay. I would probably do all of the above. Um, if it had to be one, it would probably be uh, tra uh, training. Yeah. 50 50 thousand. That's how many questions are in <laughs> Yes, for real. Around four. Okay, there must be 50, I think. I so, hope so. so after winning the obstacle course, you get a good sum of prize money. You and your partner can finally go on that vacation, but they changed their mind and wanted to put it to better use. What do you do? What's well, better use? No, we talked about a vacation. It's my money. I want it because I'm a ninja. Okay. So we're going on a vacation. Uh, I would probably uh, either compromise or agree. Like if if they want to put it to better use, I would probably agree. So, yeah. Apple of our eyes. You have a twin sibling. Despite being exactly identical, they have always gotten the attention from the parents. They seem to be the smartest, hardest working, and just overall superior. One day your twin makes a big mistake. What do you do? Oh. Uh, I'd probably sit back and enjoy. <laughs> uh, you could care less now. Uh, probably this. Yeah. I have the ability to care less, so you do care. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Full potentials. You're given two choices, world peace or unlocking your full potential. You live in a world where you feel humanity is getting worse, but also feel extremely unmotivated in your everyday life. What do you choose? World peace allow you to achieve the latter. Full I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, full potential, and then I can make world peace by ruling the world. Yeah? That, okay. Um, there were no civil wars on planet Vegeta when Frieza <laughs> was in charge. Facts. Uh... One of these, uh, let's go with this. Oh, okay. are, are we done? I think we're done. Okay, see, let's see your results first. What is this? <laughs> we just wait. Oh, oh. oh. So, okay. you, so you're a piccolo. So it, it does tell you an actual yeah. person. Well, I'm very happy with piccolo. Yeah. You're wise and nurturing. You think every moment, every day, and it usually involves humanity's intentions. You've gone through many ordeals. But each has made you humbler and a kinder person. I don't know if I'm humble or kind, but <laughs> okay, I'm happy with Piccolo. Okay. And what about you? Let's see. Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, who's your friend's soulmate? No, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't get an answer. <laughs> Well, <laughs> do we want to just like refresh and click? Okay, and okay, and okay. Also, I don't know if your plan was to have our like our image in this at all. Yeah. But your face is like only that much. <laughs> oh no! So I kept like because I'm like leaning, I'm like there's all of me, and then there's like <laughs> this much of you. All right, so uh, we refreshed, and uh, we'll take take this now. Um, I am also. <laughs> Guys, take this quiz and let I me know if you get Piccolo. <laughs> oh, this, the only this, is, all Piccolo. this is the greatest quiz of all time. This was a, a great video. I, I hope you guys yeah, agree. I'm excited. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? No, uh, let's go on to the next video. Okay. I uh, hope you guys look forward to the next video.